everybody, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock live stream. I hope you're all doing well. We finally changed texture packs from the wintry one because, I uh, don't know, I wasn't really feeling it anymore. And this one looks kind of hot. Also, Lucy's only like 100 subscribers away from YouTube rank. So yeah, if you do end up getting the pack, give her a subscription, man. If we go into the new Mithril collection here, you'll see it. Mithril Collection 9, which is 1 million Mithril, you can get a Beacon 1 recipe. They finally added beacons to the game after months of them just being bugged items from crafts with catalysts or whatever they finally actually added them to the game which is nice to be fair and this is how you make them just three stacks of enchanted mithril 64 starfall and dive glass it's not really expensive the more annoying thing is that it requires a million mithril to unlock we don't even have that unlocked yet you need that and once your heart of the mountain 2 you can go into here and craft beacon tier 2 then using that you can make beacon tier 3 and using that you can make beacon tier 4 at heart of the mountain tier 4 and at heart of the mountain tier 5 you can make a tier 5 beacon now thankfully my co-op member needs Nico has absolutely no life whatsoever. If you look at the co-op contributions, he might have spent a little bit too much time on this update. So he has Heart of the Mountain 5 and actually crafted us one of the beacons, the tier 5 beacon, actually. I paid for the resources, of course. I pay for everything on this island, but you know, it's fine. I'm just in here refining more fuel for it because these only last for 48 hours. So I may as well just buy another inventory full of Starfall because this stuff is dirt cheap and make myself a load more fuel just so I can keep this beacon going forever because I'm telling you, chat, you never Never want a moment where the beacon isn't on. When I first looked at it, I was like, honestly, I don't see the point. Why would you want speed, jump boost, strength on your island? There's nothing threatening on your island. There's nothing really going on in your island. This guy just gave me a superior dragon fragment. But yeah, there's nothing really going on on your island that really warrants the use of a beacon. So I was like, why would I put a beacon on my island? Especially if you go here and you search up beacon and you look at the costs of these things, you can see why I'm upset that I actually had to pay for it. There's only one on the auction house and it's 200 mil the tier fours are uh well i bought mine for like 90 mil but it seems they've gone down to 74 now i decided to give it a chance see what's going on with the beacons up in here so if we go over here nico decided to place it down on our island on a very suspect looking uh golden platform i don't know why he's done it like this anyways if we go in here you can see what the beacons actually do so it has a range of 140 which is essentially the entire island buffs all minion speed by 10 percent, which is cracked like you have no idea how good that is on top of like hyper catalysts and everything it is ridiculously good especially with crystals and everything you can add a profile stat as well to it so if we go into profile stats currently we have the five magic finds selected but if you go through here it can give you anything and that's not just on your island this is across all of your co-op members everywhere you go on your entire profile so since we're playing dungeons today i'm gonna go for some ability damage because ability damage is just crack the only other way to get extra ability damage once you're enchanting 60 is with a sheep pet a minos relic and with chimera 5 and all of those are pretty expensive so yeah it's quite cool that we can have another five thanks to the beacons and now if we look at my melon minions they are literally on adderall dude they're going sicko mode look how quick they farm this stuff i saw a few people in the comment section of my last Last video were confused as to why i'm using like a shadow assassin helmet and not max or boots or anything it's because if you look at the ability of the shadow assassin helmet on teleport you grant invisibility and 20 speed for 10 seconds obviously every time you right click with hyperion you teleport and the speed stacks so every time you right click with hyperion your speed just goes through the roof it's actually a strat that most of the sweaty end game players use now they just use a shadow assassin helmet because the speed is crazy and yeah we may as well put legion on it so i can have legion on everything and now my my ability damage is still 63%. Well, that was a uh, nice 18 million damage wasted. Cal, thoughts about anime? Uh, personally, it ain't for me, man. Personally, it ain't for me. I've watched one, and to be honest, I did enjoy it. But I've given others little attempts here and there, and something about the... You know, I, I don't vibe with it, man. Wait, did I mute my mic? How did I even manage that? I'm doing too much of this lately, man. My editor sent me so many clips of me saying oh, oh in my last video that I kind of concerned myself. Please stop violating me, Necron. Oh, oh. It ain't good, man. I'm a 22-year-old dude. What is wrong with me? I'll take the extra five ability damage, dude. How much does that even do? Two million with just a right click? Pretty good, man. I'll tell you what. I do need to get Chimera 5. I feel like it's the most pointless thing ever. Right, let, let me explain Hyperion to you, chat. Hyperion is cracked. Any money you put into this sword, you will 100% make back probably two or three times over if you actually play the game. You know, if you don't play the game, don't expect to make your money back. But if you play Floor 7, you will make your money back a million times over. But here's the thing, right? With Chimera 5, that costs nearly 2 billion coins just for Chimera 5. You ain't 
ain't making that money back, man. Egon, with the how many times he's ran floor seven with his Chimera five Hyperion, he's probably broke even, if anything, dude. It's pointless, but at the same time, it's so cool. Wait, 15H has one? I'll give that a whirl, dude. I think that's actually the max ability damage in the game. Buying a Mac is the same as adding Legion 5 to a Shadow Assassin helmet. Dude, I actually saw one of the funniest comments I've ever seen. I went to uh, go on my outro songs video out of curiosity because it's basically like Googling yourself. I went to my outro songs comment section to see if anyone was like, oh, who's here from Refraction and stuff. And someone left a comment. I'm going to go look it up, dude. I don't care that I'm throwing this run. This song makes me want to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on acquiring slightly better clothing at a weapon. <laughs> It was so good, man. See, I don't know, man. I do enjoy it, and I think I am doing it right. I just don't really notice myself killing Necron any faster. Maybe it's because I'm paying too much attention to it. Maybe it's just because I'm a low archer level. I haven't got a clue. Anyways, we're going to go back to Mage for our run because I want to try out 15H's Chimera 5 Hyperion. Oh, it's so beautiful. That is so hot. He has it on Heroic for some reason. Interesting. His Hyperion is so maxed out. He has 5k gear score. <laughs> So now I think I have the theoretical max ability damage in the game, right? Is there any way I can get any more possible ability damage? I have the five from the beacon. I have a Chimera five Hyperion. I have full Legion five Storm. Let's make sure I got my sheep pet out. We have 174% up until now, chat. I've been at 63 with the new beacon. What? Your implosion just hit two enemies for 30 million that... Okay, dude, I was just doing 2 million per implosion. Now I'm doing 10 million. <laughs> now is the moment of truth. This is where you see the big boy numbers. I want to see what this does. I've seen 500 mil before. Come on, game. I know you can do better than that. Now nah, we got to see how much we can rip neck on a new one. I wonder why 15H has it on heroic, though. Everyone else I've seen uses withered. Oh my god, yeah. His health bar just vanished, dude. Every single one of the right clicks does nearly 10 million damage to Necron. This makes me want to get a Chimera 5 Hyperion chat. I don't use left click. I mean, I suppose you don't have to at this point. Do you just use a sheep pet the whole time? I just realized I swapped to a Wither Skeleton pet. I'm doing 10 mil per right click without the sheep pet. I get 1, 2, 1 ability damage on Hyperion. Really? 1, 2, 1? Bruh, I have 35 without the sheep. The sheep gives you that much. And now I have 1, 6, 7. That's crazy. I want to try doing the last phase of the boss without left clicking let's see what this is like we ain't gonna throw any left clicks in we're just gonna go bam bam, bam. three mil maybe he has more resistance at this phase or something man i was just doing 10 mil in phase two all right mr 15 hours you may have your uh chimera hyperion back thank you for the two euros as well samas saying please we need refreezes or i'm gonna sue you i'll tell you who will sue me if we make refreezes man kanye west yeezy himself will sue me bro also i'm gonna just nonchalantly afk to start of this run because i want my archer set up back i just want to look at my ability damage again now I've lost 110. How does Chimera 5 give you so much? What sheep gives you 26? So Chimera 5 Hyperion would give you 52, right? How do I get another 100? Or does he just buff some other ghost stats or something? I have no idea how it works, man, but it's mad. Chimera 5 Hyperion never really bothered me before. I was like, this weapon's overpowered enough as it is, but my God, 26 times percentage from Kata level. Bruh, I didn't realize it went from Kata stats as well. I thought it only cloned like pet stats or whatever i'm gonna visit moral bot for he feels weird visiting somebody for their bones but hey want the head up uh, <laughs> he's giving me the bones and the head oh no no there's too many jokes i can make but i'm a pg youtuber oh my god each one of these is worth stupid amounts of money these have got to be like 100 mil each near enough right if you swap right you can do 10 to 17 billion dps shoot five bones hold giants before the bones hit necron swap to death oh my god yeah that's what i thought it was i thought it was when the bones come back to you that's when you swap to the death bow right what you do is you swap to the giant sword so the strength stacks and then the death bow has an ability where it does plus 100 extra damage to undead mobs necron counts as an undead mob so it does the extra damage to necron the strength and the 100 damage stack and you can do crazy but you just saw 60 mil damage like that i think i swapped it right yeah you can tell i swapped it right in that one because that other one only did three mil 76 mil so yeah that's how you swap with archer it is ridiculous you had damage this class does is insane and bear in mind it does twice as much damage when it comes back the other way it's just ridiculous man let's see how much better these bones are let's see if it's just me sucking or if max archer gear actually makes a big difference 
Nice take. <laughs> See, I don't know, man. I don't know how much damage that did. That didn't really feel any faster than my other attempts. I mean, obviously, it should be. The bones are maxed out, and I'm using a diamond necron head. But I felt like I had the swap then still. We're going to go get our kit back off Marl. Because I, I feel too responsible to be lugging around all this stuff, man. This is ridiculous. See what his damage is. I mean, it'd probably be better if he was wearing a tarantula helmet or something, right? Because diamond necron head doesn't work out here. But how does he do it that fast? I don't get it. That's ridiculous. Ah! Bro, I'm trying... You know what? You will come here for the best gameplay in Hypixel Skyblock. And what can I say? It's all I offer. All right. Now we actually have the potion on. We might be able to do a bit more. Not like most of the damage isn't going to be coming from Mal anyway. But, you know. It's still slow, whoa. It's too slow for my liking, man. I need to get good. Maybe it's because we're dual archer. Do I just throw in the towel and let Maul be the only archer? All right, I'm going to visit this man because you all have been saying. So it's either a very good meme or it's true. It can be either, man. And I don't mind because if it's true, that's cool. If it's a very good meme, that's also cool. Yo, it actually has wither impact as well. Yo, it's actually not cap. I was so ready for cap, dude. <gasps> what? Boy. What? That's some of the juiciest contraband I've gotten in a while. I can't lie, chat. <laughs> I want my G7P7 chicken head. Uh that's sick. That's <laughs> I can't take that from you, man. I can't take that from you, but that's dope. What is happening? What? Yo, the dream stand's actually coming in clutch, dude. We have three Hyperions, chat. Three Hyperions. <laughs> you all should join the Refraction Discord server right now. It's pretty pog. My Discord server do actually be kind of good with it, man. All right, let's try and visit this guy again. 80 puff. <gasps> We're in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Try Valk swap with Burr's class. You're saying play Archer, but swap to Valk with the bones? I mean, I could do, to be fair. Wait, so you're saying instead of swapping to Giant Sword and Death Bow, just swap to Valkyrie? Do we go back to our roots this stream chat? Yo, I'm swapping about all over the place. To be fair, I'm going to give it a whirl. Let's get our dirty Valkyrie back out, boys. <laughs> we'll see how well this works, I guess. We're going back to our Berserker roots. We got this to level 30 for some reason, then, I guess. Maybe I should use the Tiger pet then versus Necron instead of the old Wither pet. Yo, I'm out of mana. Oh, the berserker life. Oh, I can't spam it. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, I just realized why I'm so fast. Berserker gives you speed as a class. Ooh, that means I don't need to use Shadow Assassin Helmet. Ooh, I'm, I'm beginning to like this, you know. Oh, we actually get 7k defense with this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me swap armor sets real quick. Tiger, 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 tiger. Oh, why am I hitting him, dude? I should be using my bones. <laughs> Oops, I fully went back to my berserker roots there. Then. That's mad. I'm excited to try this, to be honest. I'm ready to hear the tiger pet just go sicko mode, dude. It's going to go... That sounds satisfying. If not anything else, that's like music to my ears, dude. How much damage do we do? 400 mil. Not too bad. One death. E the one thing I gotta say that I do miss about Mage and Archer is their abilities that let you just blow up super boomable stuff. Because using super boom again, man, after all this time, I gotta say, it's pretty sleeper. I don't like using super boom. Like, it ain't bad. It ain't bad, but it's not incredible. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. It's strange. That's all I'll say. It's nice having the speed when I'm running around in the dungeon, but at the same time, I don't like having to use Super Boom TNT. So it's just a weird kind of setup. You know what I mean? You do lose a lot of damage by not doing the Giant Sword Death Bow swap. Hang on. Let's see if we can do it in the graveyard. So I'll show you all what Bowman basically works like. So if we do a Valkyrie swap, we do 280. Really? Only 280? So 280k with like three or four X ferocity. That's terrible. That's terrible compared to Archer. What? Whereas if we use a Wither Skeleton and we go bam, bam, bam. 1.2 mil. It's still ridiculously low. 1.2. Maybe we'll try it with an E-Drag since we're not in dungeons. Bro, I'm actually whiffing this so hard. There we go. We did 7 mil with that one. You all saw that one, right? Seems it's easier when they're further away. 5 mil. 
So yeah, you just need to swap between the two of them, basically. And then you end up doing ridiculous damage. Oh, Necron and a Phoenix pet? Full, full Necron and a, and a level 97 legendary. Oh my god! I mean, he ruined it. It's all ruined thanks to the inflatable Jerry's dotted about the place. But what? I'm blown away, man. This is you. You all are actually are funding my Chimera Five here, man. Oh my god, TYSM, dude. William is a nut. Thank you, man. No drops today. We are down bad today, chat. You hate to see it. On that note, I think it's time to go. Thank you all so so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here. I even built a glitch subscribe sign out of portals. So if this doesn't convince you to subscribe, I'm all out of options, man. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the crazy donos, both in game and in real life. It's been nuts. I appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to now go make chicken burgers because I'm starving. See you all later, chat.